Nelson, Nelson Eddy. It's that pleasant hour for light and power. Brought to you by 170 business managed electric companies. With Robert Ambrister, the orchestra and chorus, your announcer, Frank Graham, and starring Nelson Eddy. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Nelson Eddy welcoming you to our Christmas edition of the Electric Hour. Today, our music rack is decked with holly and laden with Christmas music. Then, as an added Yuletide feature, we're going to receive a visit from Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, as Walt Disney brings over his two familiar characters to help us out in a Christmas fantasy we've prepared. But first, a musical greeting to this holiday season. The song, Hazy Time of Holy Days, which foretells the coming of the Christmas season. Nelson Eddy. <laughs> Every window that greets night with cheerful challenge is a shining symbol of the passing of war's shadow. Yes, the very thought of peace lifts our spirits to the miracle of Christmas. And the lights that shine throughout the nation tonight mark the beginning of a bright new era. The men and women of the electric companies that sponsor this program are happy in the thought that they were able to meet all demands for electricity during the war. And in the future, as in the past, They'll help in every way they can to keep your electric service friendly, dependable, and cheap. To help you enjoy the benefits of better living that come with it. In many European countries, in bygone days, it was customary for friends to exchange gifts during the 12 days of Christmas. And on the 12th day, the holiday season reached its climax with a huge festival. And a very pleasant custom it must have been indeed. The tradition is described in detail by Nelson Eddy as he sings the 12 days of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love sent to me three French and two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me four comfort three French and two turtle doves and a partridge. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me five gold rings, four 
calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me six geese a laying front door and in the living room a Christmas tree, tinsel bright, reaches almost to the ceiling. Upstairs a little girl is being put to bed and her daddy is telling her the story of Santa Claus. Well, Santa Claus comes from the North Pole and the sleigh drawn the reindeer. Comes down the chimney, fills her stocking. Mommy's stocking, Daddy. I hung things up because it's so good. <laughs> All right, Mommy's stocking. Yeah. And now it's time for you to close your eyes and go to sleep. Yes, Daddy. Be stuck here. My dad was up in Mickey Mouse dolls, Daddy. Oh. Here they are. Mickey and Donald. Put them under the covers with me. There you are. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Carol. Pleasant dreams. Stop, Donald. 
<laughs> Come right in. Well, well, well. well. <laughs> Carolyn Mickey. Since you're here, I'll, I'll give you your present now. <laughs> For you, Carol, a big mama doll and a dollhouse. Someone who doesn't exist, huh? Well, who am I? Uh-oh. <laughs> Kid stuff. <laughs> no, no, no. Leave him alone, Mickey. You know it's not Donald's fault he doesn't believe in Santa Claus. Some people, like Donald, believe only what they can see. They forget that they really believe in a lot of things they can't see. They can't, Mr. Santa. Well, happiness, for instance, Carol. You believe in happiness, don't you, Donald? Uh-huh. But you can't see it, can you? Uh-uh. And peace on earth, Donald. And goodwill. You can't see goodwill, can you? Uh-uh. Well, that's sort of what Santa Claus is like. Donald, there are some things you just have to believe in, whether you can see them or not. Uh-huh. Mr. Santa Claus, I think Donald has learned his lesson. Please you give him a present now? <laughs> well, of course I can, Carol. Well, what? Here you are. Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome now. It's almost midnight. My slaves packed full with gifts for good children all over the world. It's time to go. Maybe I'll just be Mr. Santa. Why, of course, of course. Let's go. Up, Dunder. Up, Blitzen. Up, Panther. Up, Dancer. For joining our electric hour company today, our thanks to you, Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, and Walt Disney. Merry Christmas. Well, thank you, Nelson. Merry Christmas to you. Another delightful song from the fairy opera, Hansel and Gretel. The story of a little boy and girl who, lost in the woods, fall under the spell of a wicked old witch who turns children into gingerbread. Here is the song Hansel and Gretel's father sings as he summons up his courage to go out to the rescue of his children. Nelson Eddy sings Peter's song. <laughs>
by day, they say he talks around with a crimson thing, crunching, munching sound. And children clump and stand to eat, till you're with magic in the bread to eat. An evil bent with hell intent. Electricity is now selling at the lowest price in history. Why, the electric companies, such as those which sponsor this program, have found ways to reduce the price of electricity until, on the average, you're getting twice as much for your money today as you did 20 years ago. Another thing about electricity, it's one bargain you don't have to step outside your house to buy. It comes in only one quality, the best. And there's always plenty to go around. <laughs> thing about Christmas is that it brings so much joy and happiness, so much good feeling, so much beloved music. Yes, it's Christmas music as much as anything else, as much as the Christmas tree, the holly wreath, the presents given one another that makes this the season of peace on earth, goodwill toward men. Here are some Christmas carols, and with them we offer a prayer, a prayer that Christmas will always find this earth at peace and men possessed of goodwill.
Johnson. Eddie will be back in just a moment. Among your hosts for the electric hour in New York are the Staten Island Edison Corporation, Long Island Lighting Company, and New Jersey Power and Light Company. We are three of the 170 business-managed, tax-paying, self-supporting electric companies who join to bring you this friendly music and these talks about the electric business and what business enterprise can do to build an even greater America. And now back to Nelson Eddy. Nelson Eddy again. Ladies and gentlemen, as we approach this Christmas season, what better gift could you give than security in the future? Victory bonds make secure our future. So don't forget, give victory bonds for Christmas. Next week, Robert Ambrosa, the orchestra and chorus, Frank Graham and I will meet you once again on the Electric Hour. And we hope you'll all join us on this, our New Year's program. And we'll all drink a cup of kindness yet for old Lang Syne. Until next Sunday, then, may happiness light your home and more power to you. Merry Christmas. <laughs>